using the electromagnetic wave, infrared radiation, by kscience.com. Infrared cameras use infrared radiation, so if you want to see what parts of your house are not insulated well, you could use an infrared camera to measure this. So a house is going to be emitting infrared radiation from the thermal energy stores that are in the house. So an infrared camera is going to detect the different levels of infrared radiation. So where there is low infrared radiation emission, you're going to see a black or blue color, as you can see here with the ground. And a black color is going to be seen in the sky because there is little infrared radiation being emitted from the sky. So the warmer the color appears on the image, that is where you're gonna see a higher level of infrared radiation being emitted through. So green is going to be emitting more infrared radiation than blue. So the roof is emitting more infrared radiation than the walls. As you can see here, the red windows are showing where the most infrared radiation is being emitted from. So let's recap. The house is going to be emitting infrared radiation from the thermal energy stores that are in the house. The infrared camera detects the infrared radiation being emitted from the house. So the infrared signal is turned into an electrical signal by the computer. This means that an image is displayed on the screen. To visualize the different levels of infrared radiation being emitted throughout the house. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This here is a toaster, and what I'm drawing now is the heating element. So when you place your bread in the toaster and turn the toaster on, that's gonna cause infrared radiation to be emitted and the bread will then cook. This is due to the infrared radiation transferring thermal energy from the thermal energy store of the wire to the thermal energy store of the bread. So a recap, infrared radiation transfers thermal energy to the food's thermal energy store, causing temperature of the food to increase and cook. So if you've got a heating element in the room, and you turn it on by allowing current to flow through the wire, what happens is the wire heats up. This causes an emission of infrared radiation, whereby the infrared radiation waves are going to transfer the thermal energy from the thermal energy store of the wire to the thermal energy store of the air particles in the room. So the infrared radiation transfers energy to the thermal store of the air in the room. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.